so just looking at spirit and truth, uh, spirit is the word uh, pneuma or breath, the movement of air. And it's unseen, you know, we don't, we can't see our breath unless we're in a really cold place. Um, and that also represents the Holy Spirit. And then truth or aletheia, by pronouncing that right, what is true in any matter under consideration? And that is more concrete, more objective, it's seen. And I believe that represents Jesus is truth. Yeah. And so it's this beautiful dance of Holy Spirit and Jesus in helping us to enter into true worship with the Father. And so that takes on a whole new meaning. I think sometimes when we've, you know, dissected this verse in the past, you know, it's like, okay, we got to be in the spirit. And, okay. We got to be truthful or whatever, you know, and, um, but going, no, this is more relational in what they have for us and what they're doing. And then it's on earth as it is in heaven. So everything, um, <laughs> Everything God does in relationship and from relationship and worship of any kind is based in relationship and connects earth and heaven in unique ways. We just got a few kinks to work out. Yes. Yet. We can't quite <laughs> see some things we need to see at the right time, but it's all good. Yeah. So <laughs> hesitation here or there or a neck. <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, just that concept <clears throat> of on earth as it is in heaven from a relationship perspective. Not this, we got to bring down something from heaven, but this <laughs> picture of Jesus and Holy Spirit helping us make this connection, the unseen uh, and the seen connecting in beautiful ways uh, is really powerful to me.